Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to extend volumes in Windows 7. And I'm not talking about Drive C, I'm talking about partitions and additional drives. For example, if I go to my computer here, I have two drives. It doesn't matter what size they are, I just want to make one out of those two drives. Or partitions, they could also be partitions. I'm going to close here right click computer and then click on manage then click on disk management I have three drives all three of them are 25 gigs but they could be any size so I'm going to expand disk 1 to be 75 gigs I'm gonna combine all three drives into one so the computer will only read one in this example, two drives are formatted and one is unallocated. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to right click on the already formatted drive to extend the volume. So click on extend volume, click next to the wizard, and here it automatically detected the unallocated drive, disk 2, not 3 because it's already formatted. Now if we want to add an additional drive you just have to right click and delete volume if you have information inside one of those volumes that you're deleting make sure you create a backup I'm going to delete the volume and here is telling us that all data will be erased to back it up click yes and now you have two unallocated drive so I'm going to right click on the uh, healthy drive and then click on extend volume click next to the wizard and now I we'll have the two unallocated drives just select it and then click on add select the third one and then click on add once you have selected the drives click on next and then click on finish when you click on finish this warning will come up it's telling you that all the disk will be converted to dynamic disk click yes to the warning and it will convert all disk to dynamic and once we're done the computer will read all three disk as one remember it doesn't matter what size they are once it's healthy go to computer and here you notice that I have now a 75 gigs drive. I normally don't recommend this unless you're constantly running a backup because in this case if one drive fails the whole thing fails. I'm going to delete one volume so you can see what happens. Here's a warning. Deleting a volume will erase all data. The same applies if the drive fails. It will delete everything. If I click yes here you notice that all three disks now are unallocated. Remember, something that, like this needs to be constantly backed up. Let's say you have multiple unallocated disks. You can right click any of them and then click on New Spanned Volume. Here, click next to the wizard and then select all the unallocated disks you wish to add to the span. Once selected, click on next here you can change the drive letter and click on next you can also change the volume label I'm gonna leave it default and click on next finish the wizard and here it's telling you that it will convert all the disk to dynamic click yes to the warning Now once healthy, that means all three disks are combined. So now the, the computer will read all drive as one, 75 gigs. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.